Hello guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you a One Piece theory video about a fight that will possibly take place during the Zo arc. Now, before I get into this theory, I just want to mention that I have another theory backing this up that I'm not going to get into, but I believe Edward Weeble will be the main villain or at least a villain during the arc of Zo. So, yes, I believe he will be this arc's villain. So, yeah, think of that what you will. I will actually do another theory video explaining that later. But that's not what we will be talking about today. Today, we are going to be talking about Cat Burglar Nami and Miss Buckings poss possibly having a battle and why I believe this event will take place. In Chapter 802, we were introduced to Miss Buckings and Edward Weevil, the self-proclaimed lover and son of Whitebeard. Now, while well, I'm telling you now, that guy is definitely not Whitebeard's son. I, kn I was going to make a video on it, but then I realized no one in the fandom is that retarded as to think that that is Whitebeard's kid. However, I have noticed something. No one seems to talk about the fact that Miss Buckings has an obsession with money that is arguably greater than even Nami's. And she is obviously an enemy of the Straw Hat due to the fact that she has interest in going after Straw Hat Luffy. Meaning, they're probably gonna fight. And, you know, Edward, Edward Weevil and Luffy, that is. And I firmly believe Miss Bucking will end up fighting Nami because it would be so interesting to see. You often see this in One Piece. You do see it with Luffy and Blackbeard to some extent. But a lot of it is also Luffy's hatred for Blackbeard due to the thing with Ace. But you do see the more but like the difference in morals. Like it's same goal, same desire, very different morals. This is kind of in the case with Miss Buckings and Nami. Allow me to explain. The main reason I think this fight is likely is because, like Luffy and Blackbeard, Nami and Miss Buckings are very similar when it comes to what they care about and their interests. That being money. They're both very interested in gaining money. But, and it's actually nearly the same situation. Nami, it, Nami has a moral code. Like, there are things she won't do when when Miss Bucking is just like she has Weeble uh, like a, who is like implied to be a strong and white beard in his, in his youth. I don't agree with that. I I think there's some shady shit with that. But that for another video. But the point is is that while Miss Bucking is just like oh there's like a member of the white beard pirates in the area. Go go fight him. Edward Weeble goes and fights him and kills him, and in the process, kills like 200 people. 200 civilians. Nami doesn't support that kind of stuff. It's actually a lot like Luffy and Blackbeard. In the case that Blackbeard wants to be Pirate King, and will, do, and will become Pirate King by any means. And Luffy will do it his own way, and his way does not involve killing innocent people. But, so it's pretty much the same thing. Nami wants the money, and she'll do almost anything to get it. But one of the things Nami won't do, is kill people for it. So, I firmly believe it'd be very interesting to see like a mortal battle in One Piece. You know, like a kind of battle with Nami. Nami would probably be saying things like, I understand your desire for money, but, but you're taking it too far. You're killing you're killing all these people, and you're trying to kill my friend. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care if you want money. You can't hurt my friend. Like, that would be a very good fight. And also, because she's so old, maybe Nami could even get a fight that makes sense. Instead of, like, with Kali thought and Miss Doublefinger, where they kind of just stood there, you know, and took her final attack, and you're kind of sitting there like, what the what, what, like, what the hell is wrong with this bitch? And why didn't she dodge it? We, like, let's be honest, Kai thought could have beaten Nami easily. 
But yeah, now we'll just quickly talk about how I think the fight would go. Now, even though Nami had the whole two years of training under her belt, this woman has to be somewhat powerful. I'm not saying she's strong. I'm not even saying she's warlord level. If I had to gauge her power, I would probably put it at maybe around a little bit of, I would say she would have to at least be a stronger, at least be stronger than our law. I would have to say at least be three or four times more powerful than our law. So yeah. But, and I don't think that's a very bad assumption to make. I feel like, I do feel like she had some hockey skill. Probably not a lot, just due to her age. I feel like she probably maybe had like armament hockey. In fact, Nami could even possibly unlock hockey in this fight. However, I do believe Nami would have some trouble in this fight. But, due to being a protagonist, she has still definitely most, she ends up being one of her few main fights. I believe she will come out on top. Yeah, also I believe that this is very likely due to the fact that because I believe Edward Weeble and Miss Buckings are going to be two villains on the, in the Zoe arc, you need to look at this from a storytelling perspective. The, in One Piece, you had two female leads, Robin and Nami. Robin was obviously very focused on in the last arc. When it came to the to the female from the straw hat to have the most time to shine last arc, so I'm assuming Nami gonna get some kind of action this arc, at least something. It's also been forever since her last fight. I mean, when did any lobby come out in in Japan, like the first time? It it would pass. It was like 2007, 2008, right? That's a long time ago. That's almost. That's over. That's like. That's almost ten years ago. But only there's only like a, in like three years it will have been ten years since Nami's last fight around there. So you really need to think about it. Nami needs a fight. So why not do it with somebody that is a, the complete opposite of her in a way, someone that loves money, but doesn't have a moral code and will do anything to get it. But there's one more thing I want to touch up on before I end this video. Now, you can disagree with me on this all you want, but I firmly believe, considering Luffy going to be Pirate King, one of the reasons I actually believe she is at least four times stronger than Arlong is that if you aren't strong enough to single-handedly take out every pirate in the East Blue without breaking a sweat, I don't really think you deserve to be able, Nami, Nami, or any of the weakling trio for this matter, deserve to be able to say, I am the sniper of the Pirate King crew. Like they don't. And let you, there's a certain amount of power that comes, that you need. You need to uphold the reputation. People, you, fans don't need to realize it. These are characters that are going to be so, t that the world is just going, people are going to assume Nami at Yoko level. You have to realize, this is how people are terrified of the idea of the Pirate King. So when they see, like, Luffy, they're going to be like, his whole crew would be Yoko level. It, it, whether it's true or not, I, I, I would assume, I would assume most of the Roger Pirates could at least hold their own against the Admiral. I have, I am a hard believer that, that that is the case. That almost every member of the Roger Pirate could, at, beside Buggy, could go toe, could not go toe to toe with or defeat, but at least give an admiral some trouble. In other words, they could hold one off until like rot. In other words, I believe, like you know, I don't know, the cook could hold the cook off and Kizaru until Roger got there, or until Rayleigh got there. My point is, is that characters like Nami, Chopper, and Usopp, they need power ups, and I believe just. With all the things I stated before, the fact that they're both addicted to money and and they both have such different morals, that it just didn't the perfect chance to get Nami that power up. But you know what? 
I hope you, uh, that's really that's all I have to bring you today. So I hope you enjoyed today's One Piece Theory video. And in conclusion, Nami will fight Miss Bucking in the in the arc when uh, Edward Weebo the main villain, and I believe, or a side villain, and I believe that arc will be though. I could be wrong, but I am positive Nami will fight Miss Bucking. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. One Piece Nation, signing out. Peace.